So if you didn't know, I work as a learning assistant with 2UN Trilogy. And one of the questions that I got that kind of stumped me was, what is a prop in React? And um, for a long time, I didn't actually know <laughs> the definition of a prop either. So this video is going to be kind of a rabbit hole. So hopefully we can introduce you to this topic and you can learn more about JavaScript and how everything works later on. So I'm going to assume that um, you're familiar with certain things. If you're not, just look them up after this video. And remember, we're always learning. So not everything is going to make sense. Not everything should make sense, but it will. So basically, a prop is an object property. Um, and the reason that I started on this page is because a lot of new devs, especially if you're in coding bootcamp, will find themselves here somehow. And you might even be brave enough to say, oh, well, what's a component? I want to learn about components. But a component originally in React was based on classes. And classes themselves um, <laughs> are super duper complex. So let's jump back to this other page about functions and class components. So what's important to remember is uh, if you can see what I'm highlighting here, I'm basically highlighting a functional component in React. And in this example, the function is called welcome and it has props. And what's important to remember is that, you know, you, you may be wondering um, how do props work if I'm just creating a function? How, do, how are these things wired together? And there's no way that you would know this unless you've done deeper dives in the JavaScript. And what you'll find out is that functions are actually objects. There, there are a lot of things in JavaScript that are objects. Um, the only things that aren't objects are things that specifically have other data types. But we, we have all of these objects in JavaScript, and that's how we can you know, pass props to a function. And we can use props.name inside of this function. Um, the other thing is that with classes, you know, it, it works in a, in a similar way. We're still referring to props as an object property. And this is what you want to remember. You know, even, even a class in JavaScript is, uh, is still an object. So we can, we can still assign properties to it. We can still reference those properties. So if you're looking to learn more about this, um, one, one thing I can recommend is Eloquent JavaScript. They have a, a great chapter about this. It's called The Secret Life of Objects. It's very eye-opening. Um, even if you're in boot camp, I would say it's, it's better to learn these things early on because you really do need to know, you, you need to have a good handle on React, um, or I mean on JavaScript, before you start diving into React, or you're gonna get confused with you know, what your code is doing. Because we're actually, we're, this is all you know, functional programming, but it's also object-oriented programming. Um, since most things in JavaScript are objects, and they all inherit properties one way or another, we're still doing object-oriented programming. So you'll, you'll never escape that as a professional dev. It always comes back to the fundamentals. And I would recommend that if certain things didn't make sense, you know, you either check out Chapter 6 of Eloquent JavaScript, or alternatively, just read through this casually um, during your downtime. You know, do the challenges for each chapter during your downtime, and really get a, a deeper understanding of you know, the language of JavaScript. And I think that's about it for this video. I'm a little bit over the time I wanted to go, but I'll be putting out you know, more React videos. I wanna become a React Pro too, so we'll do it together. See you later.